name is Eric, and today I'm going to show you the quality control process at Procurie for outbound shipments. Um, so first, once the logistics rep uh, creates an order, it will get picked and then taken to the engineering lab to be, to be QC'd by one of our engineers. Um, that's the preliminary quality control inspection, and they will also perform any testing that needs to be done, as well as any configurations for any of the machines. Um, once that part of the process is complete, the engineer will bring it out here to the quality control station where I will perform a final quality control inspection um, to make sure that the order is correct and in proper condition before it goes to shipping. So, as you can see, I've laid an order here out on the table on the, the quality control station. Um, so, I'm going to take you through what I look for during the, the QC inspection to make sure that the order is um, up to a certain standard of quality and make sure that uh, the part numbers, serial numbers, everything matches up. So in my hand here, I have the sales order. This, this uh, pick ticket, the sales order, has all of the relevant information for the, for the order. It has the, the part number, the item description, and serial number, as well as um, information relevant to uh, how the order is being shipped, the sales rep, customer, um, all of that, inf all information pertinent to the, the sales order. So the first thing I'm going to look at are the signatures at the bottom. This shows me that it has been through the proper, um, the proper process before reaching me. It, it should have a signature in the picked by field. It should also have a signature in the QC by field, um, showing that it has been QC'd by an engineer before it reaches this station. So, as you can see, this order does have those, both of those signatures. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to look at are the part numbers and serial numbers to make sure that it matches what I, the parts that I have in front of me. Um, sometimes, in this case, orders, the actual part itself will not have the same number that's on the pick ticket. As you can see here, it's an order that's 2076-3542. That number is not going to be on any of these items. I rely on the engineers to confirm during the preliminary QC process that the number, the part number on the product matches the part number on the pick ticket. And they note that on the ticket itself to confirm that they went through that process. Um, so once I check that all of the products have the correct part number, then I'll also check the serial numbers to make sure that the proper, the, the proper items have been picked and allocated to the sales order. Um, I have already checked and confirmed all of these. These are all correct. So the final thing that I'm going to do is confirm the quality of the product itself. This order and you can see on the sales order, it has an F under the variant code. That's designating that all these products should be factory sealed. So uh, for this type of order, the main concern is to make sure that all of these products are still in their factory sealed packaging with the factory sealed tape intact. So for each product, I'm going to check to make sure that the tape is intact and the product is still factory sealed as it comes from the manufacturer. So I'm going to check every single one of these. Alright, these all appear to be correct. As I've said, I've already confirmed the part numbers and the serial numbers on these stickers in each box. So the next step in the process is going to be taking quality control pictures to capture all of the relevant information for the order. So I'm going to take you through that process as well right now. So we have a camera here. I'm going to use this camera to first take a picture of the sales order. This will capture all of the information about the order, all of the signatures, any comments that may be on there, customers, shipping date, sales order number, all of that information. The next step is going to be taking a picture of the products themselves. And it's really important that you really want to capture the, accurately capture the condition that our products are sent out in. If there's any issue 
once they are received by the customer, we want to have evidence and proof of exactly how the items were sent out on our end. So I'm going to take pictures of all of these items. And I'm also, and, and so I'm going to try to capture this, the quantity, the condition, and then this, the part numbers, the serial numbers, as well as the, the tape that we discussed earlier. So take a picture of each item. Stand up each each box so that we can see the tape. I'm going to take a picture of all the boxes again, so you can visually see that all boxes were still in their factory sealed packaging when they were sent. All right. So once the pictures have been taken, we have an app, an Excel application on this tablet. I'm going to swipe to this Excel application, and here I'm going to enter the sales order number. Once I enter the sales order number, I'm going to double click done, and what this does is it takes the pictures, all the QC pictures that are associated with this sales order number and it's going to send them to our shared drive so that they can be referenced late, uh, later if, um, if there's any issues with the order. And they're going to be located in a file headed with the sales order. So, once the QC process is complete, I'm going to stack these back up, put them in a, a black bin, same way that they came out here to me. I'm going to sign the order myself, saying that I took pictures, and then I, I sign at the top so that the guys in shipping know that all the steps of the QC process have been completed. Put it in a sleeve to keep everything together. And this goes, now it goes to shipping, to be packaged and sent out. Once the order has been taken to shipping, that concludes the quality control process for outbound orders.